welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have hair sticking to my face. Today I have my update for hashtag pie or pan and everything. This is exactly like what it sounds like. Any makeup that is in a pan, a jar, or anything like that where you can hit pan so to speak. Um, everything in my collection I am trying to hit pan in that type of product. I am personally doing five items at a time just so I don't overwhelm myself. I mean, I want it to be worthwhile each update, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I am sticking with five. Some people are doing more. Some people are doing less. Whatever you want to do. Anyone that wants to join in, please feel free to do so. Um, I will have um, the original collab mates down below. There's also... Um, a spreadsheet if you want to join and um, you want your name on the spreadsheet that link is down there we would love to have you we've had tons of people that have joined in and um, without further ado let me get into this actual update oh before I even say that this is um, this is a forever project so to speak um, you can do it for as long or as short of a time as you want to uh, I have been doing it with the original collab mates since October 26th of 2019 so over a year and I plan on doing this for a very long time. I have a fairly large collection and I want it to all look loved, well loved, used and abused, whatever terminology you want to call it. Yeah, I want my collection to have a lot of love. All right, so um, I am going to show you the products that I have not hit pan on. I have two that I have hit pan on. I will save those to the end and I will show you what I am rolling in in their place. The first one has probably the least amount of usage. This is one of the newer ones that I have put in. Um, this is an eyeshadow from the, what is this? The Be A Bombshell Bora Bora Quad. You can see that I'm using it right in this area. It's one that I use primarily like on my lower lash line as like an accent color. So it's not getting um, like fast usage, but I'm enjoying it. I've been wanting to work on this shade all year long and I am very happy to be using this one so um, that is going to be rolling into um, the next month this one um, I'm getting a little bit closer this is cloud white from coastal scents I don't know if you can even see if it will show up but I do have like a nice dip in this one but um, I think probably the next update or perhaps the one after so one to two updates I should have pan in this one I like it um, to blend out a crease if it's gotten a little too dark. Um, I've used it as a um, like a lip topper if a uh, lipstick is too dark and I want to tone it down a little bit. I've kind of multitasked this one a little bit. There are there are times when I've even put it in like my inner corner under a shimmer to help that um, pop a little bit. It's like you can't go wrong with a white eyeshadow. There's so many uses for it and I'm enjoying that one. This next one. I technically hit pan in this. This is um, the ColourPop Jelly Mutt Shadow in No Rest for the Vivid. So technically I hit pan, but but it is kind of a very malleable product, which you'll see in a second. So it's kind of oozed back down in there. I did concentrate on um, my brush in that area. So even though I kind of hit pan on it, I'm going to keep it in for at least another month get a little bit more usage because like I said it's very malleable and um, I, I almost feel like not that it's cheating to hit pan on something that's so soft because it does squish um, I just feel like um, one I just want to keep working on it because I really love it I actually have it on my lids today and um, I, I just feel like it's almost too easy to hit pan on because of how soft it is. So I just, I wanna give it at least another month's use and um, you know, see if the pan actually holds. <laughs> if it does, then I will roll it out next update. But for right now, I'm gonna keep using that bad boy. The next one was another one that was super easy to hit pan on. This is one that will be rolling out and it's actually gonna be hard to see the pan because it's a cream product and it kind of smears at the bottom. It's a hot mess. Um, this is the deep potted cream concealer and as you can see I had it in my magnetic palette with a powder product and it's like all around like the outside which you know but what can you do um but I did officially hit pan on this so this is going to roll out and um I'll, I will be rolling something else in its place but I liked it 
I don't love it, but I probably will try to get that used up next year at some point because um, I want to get some cream products out, like, in my entire collection. I Like, there's some cream products that I love, like the Jelly Much. I'm probably one of the few people that would absolutely consider purchasing more of these, but um, I really enjoy them. But other cream stuff, I, I kind of want to get that out. So that might end up in Partners in Cream in January when it reboots. So, yeah, rest assured you will see that again. All right, the next one I'm really excited about. I hit pan on this sooner than I thought I was going to. This is Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. Really enjoyed this. Hopefully you will be able to see the pan, like, right in there. There you go. You can see it kind of catching the light. Um, I really enjoyed it. I multitasked it. I put it on my lids. I put it on my inner corners. I actually used it as a face highlight a few times. And um, maybe that's why I hit pan. Even though I, you barely have to touch it because it, it's, bam, it's there. Um, I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. I have a feeling that's going to be um, panned next year as well. And that's, that's one of the nice things about this project is... Hitting a goal like hitting pan really sets up your products if you want to put them in a future panning project. It really makes things a heck of a lot easier. All right, so I have two with pan, my concealer and Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. So I need to roll in two products. I am going to replace the concealer with a concealer. I know that sounds crazy. This is the NYX Color Correcting Concealer in Lavender. It is brand spanking new. And, like, it still has the plastic on it. I will have to pry that off and um, see if I can hit pan in this. It's probably going to take me a little bit, but um, I really enjoy a good lavender color corrector because I don't get the typical dark circles like some people do. Like, every now and again, if I haven't slept for a while, I will, but I tend to get almost like like a darker yellow coloring. And I don't know if it's, you know, just, that's just me. So the lavender kind of offsets that a little bit and I really enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have fun using that one. And the next one, I am actually bringing in a highlighter because the only highlighter I'm working on right now is a, um, it's a liquid highlighter. Let me see if I can even pry this open. It's fighting me. The, um, the writing wore off of it. This is Elf and this is Moonlit or Moonlight Moonlight Pearl. It has major, major dip going on there. I tried panning this a year or two ago. I cannot remember. It might have been two years ago. So I have a huge dip in it. It is a baked product. I really just want to hit pan. I've never hit pan on any baked product. So the fact that I'm not panning a um, powder highlighter right now... And I've never hit pan on a baked product. This this one's going to be fun to work on. And I absolutely love this color. This is like the perfect highlighter for me. Um, it reminds me a lot of um, Satin Sheets from the, chocolate, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And I think that's why I like using that as a highlighter because they're very similar. And um, yeah, that's, it's, like, it's like the color that just works well for me. Not too warm, not too cool. And yeah, I just like it. So those are my two new ones. My five that I'm working on, I have three eyeshadows, a concealer, and a highlighter. I think I, after talking to my girl Dana, I think I'm going to try to do no more than three eyeshadows in this project at a time. So I don't overwhelm myself. I got a lot of eyeshadow stuff coming up in the new year, so we're just going to keep it three. And one of them's a topper, so that works out even better for me. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Again, I'm going to put all the ladies down there if you um, want to check them out. If you want to join in, we would love to have you. Just pick whatever products you want to work on, try to hit pan, and keep on going. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.